Good morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, my name is Rachel Harris, uh, and you are listening there to some music by Tumani Diabate uh, playing the Kora, which is an instrument you'll certainly be hearing a lot about um, if you join the music department at SOAS. So, um, I'm going to just run through a few slides that we've prepared for you, uh, and then I'll be happy to field a few questions. Uh, hi there, Madeline. Thank you for that, turning on your uh, camera. Okay, good. So, um, first, just to um, orient ourselves in this wonderful institution of SOAS, it is indeed a place of uh, really wonderful diversity. Uh, it never ceases to astonish and um, entertain me, uh, all the things that go on here. Um, so, this is really core to what we do. Uh, and what underpins our delivery. We di dialogue with diversity. Um, our music offering is really very global uh, in its outlook and so all of our kind of theory and practice as well as our, our regional expertise is, is very global. Um, we're also very interested in providing you with skills. So there is a, um, a vocational um, emphasis in this program. Um, so um, moving in a little then just to um, situate music within uh, the School of Arts. We are uh, one small strand of, of this school. Um, we, we are together with History of Art uh, and also with the Centre for Creative Industries, Media and Film Studies. Uh, and there's a lot of overlap, um, particularly with the creative industries uh, programmes and modules. Teaching staff in the music department, uh, we cover a wide range of um, global expertise. So my, my colleague Lucy Duran, working on West Africa, myself, working in East Asia and Central Asia, Angela Impey, Said Kordmafi, Ilana, Webster Cogan and um, Rich Williams are all um, teaching within the music department and they have um, their own very distinctive approaches as well as their regional expertise. You can find all of these profiles on the website, so do feel free to look at our publications, what we have to say about ourselves and our work. Um, I've also included my colleague Casper um, Melville on the list. Um, he's slightly separate because he's actually situated in the um, Creative Industries and Media Centre, but he works on um, uh, black music basically in the UK and the US uh, and so a lot of our students spend time in his, his modules. For all of our staff we are research active uh, and the research projects that we run, uh, the field work that we do, the people we engage with, they all come into our classrooms, sometimes literally. Um, so this is just a um, quick list of some of the projects we've been doing recently. Um, migration and transformative justice are very important aspects of what we do. Um, my own recent work is on Islamic soundscapes and also on intangible cultural heritage. So these are all themes also that uh, come into our teaching. Uh, our work in terms of research and getting it out there extends to actually supporting publications. So we have our very own um, book series published by Routledge, the SOAS Studies in Music, uh, which is um, now pretty substantial series and we're publishing some very diverse and interesting stuff recently. So you can find that online as well. Um, as well as these more traditional academic pursuits of publishing books, we're very interested in getting our work out there. So uh, many of us are engaged with other forms of publication like albums. Lucy Duran is a, uh, a very highly respected producer uh, in the world music scene. Um, other colleagues, um, Nick Gray, now a research associate, is a composer doing very interesting fusion projects. Our new um, colleague Said Kordmafi, again a very um, 
exciting composer in um, Iranian classical traditions. So that is an important aspect of what we do, increasingly so. When we say we teach world music, music of the world, ethnomusicology, um, I think it's important to understand before you get here that we don't just um, teach about traditional music or folk music, you know, so when, when we run courses on um, West Africa, it will move between uh, the, the griot traditions, for example, and then also into contemporary hip hop um, presentation style, themes, contexts of performance, all of that. So there really is no division in what we do between the traditional and, and the popular. Same when, when I teach on Korea, uh, you know, I can be interested in um, these, these living embodiments of intangible cultural heritage, but I'm also interested in BTS and, uh, and their fans and all of that. So. So beyond our regional courses, then we also teach skills. Um, a very important aspect of what we do, uh, very popular with the students. So you can take modules in podcasting, uh, in radio presenting, uh, and also um, an introduction to sound recording. Uh, the, these are really great experiences for our students. Many students actually also um, take part in the SOAS radio, which is an SU, a student union run radio station and find themselves, you know, becoming quite active as presenters there. Musical performance is uh, very important for us, really quite central to what we do. Uh, and so many of our students come to us as active performers. Others um, pick up something new, um, they get into Samul Nori, for example, Korean drumming or um, Gendai Wayan, and really have a very rich experience um, performing with our, our various ensembles, either for credit or uh, just as a an, an, sorry as an extracurricular um, practice, both possible. Um, so the performance module that we run uh, is is very popular and very interesting thing there's a um you know you're quite free to choose your own teacher and your own tradition in consultation with us obviously uh, and then that's examined by a performance at the end of the year uh, and also um, a reflective essay on your learning experience so yeah these are just a few of our recent students yeah but a lot of the music making uh, happens outside of the formal kind of module structure, you know, so so many of our students, they come because they're interested in, in jamming. <laughs> Fundamentally, they want to meet up with students with different musical skills, with different um, musical backgrounds. And so uh, this this is just one of the many encounters that might happen over the year. This is some um, Kajali um, Koyate, uh, originally from Senegal, now our uh, Cora teacher uh, and a really lovely guy and with a new album just out doing very well. And he's jamming there with um, Gaio from Brazil a couple of years ago. Let's just play you a minute of that. <laughs> Not sure how well that comes through on Zoom. Anyway, you can get the idea. A lot of that going on all the time. Um, field work, yes. So um, our department is really rooted in the discipline of ethnomusicology and field work is very fundamental to our own research 
and also central to what we're teaching you. So we have a module called Theory and Method in Ethnomusicology. The way that we examine that is by um, sending you out to do your own ethnographic research, uh, a mini fieldwork project somewhere in London, most likely, uh, during the course of the, the first term and the and the the winter break so the students this year are just um preparing their their projects and getting started on their field work and that's a really great experience for them we do try to teach some of the practical um methods uh, of ethno ethnography and, and that of course can also underpin your your dissertation your final dissertation we have a couple of um small grants the the root scholarship and also the john taylor scholarship which students can apply to in order to support them to actually travel elsewhere and do a bit of field work uh, usually in early summer uh, in order to um, contribute that to their dissertation other aspects of departmental life we have a fantastic concert series just um coming back now as a, a live experience we were doing it online last year which was you know better than nothing but it's amazing to be back in the brunei gallery now for these so um uh elian correa i think this this group is actually playing tonight you know they are a very vibrant and exciting uh band and elian is uh, one of our former students now a uh, fellow of the music student, uh, the music department, uh, Bei Bei Wang, really extraordinary um, experimental Chinese percussionist, uh, also teaching Chinese percussion here now, and she did a, a gorgeous concert a few weeks ago. Yeah. So all of this stuff is on the music department website, so you should be able to find the details of upcoming gigs if you want to see what's on. As well as the concert series, we have a, a public research seminar. Again, you're very welcome to, to join. Um, these are hybrid this term, so we're, we're bringing in some quite exciting speakers from all over the world. You can either come and listen in our classroom, G52 in, in SOAS, or we also have a link uh, for a Zoom attendance, and we, we're, we're advertising those um, on the um the bfe the british forum for ethnomusicology um uh email list if if you want to join or of course for any questions anything you want to get involved with um you're also very welcome to email me yeah rachel harris rh at soas.ac.uk uh the other thing we, which contributes a, a great deal to the vibrancy of our department are the music workshops. So these are short courses, short practical courses, sometimes running through a week of say um, two or three hours per evening. Others are kind of day courses and we run all sorts of things depending um, which teachers are around uh, at any given year, but um, tabla, klezmer, Mongolian overtone singing, gamelan, uh, all sorts of, of classes. That's um, Vasilis Sharkis. He's another master's graduate uh, from a few years back. Now he's teaching the, the Middle East percussion. Really sweet guy and a superb musician. So again, um, all the details on the website. Hmm. Right, so let, let's um, think a bit about career destinations. This is an important one. Um, I've, I've already mentioned that ethnomusicology, that discipline, uh, is, is really what underpins the department. Um, we have, over the years, trained uh, quite a swathe of academics who are now professors in, in universities all over the world. Nathan there is um, based in Canada, Shri Tan uh, came to us from Singapore. Um, quit a career in journalism in order to work in ethnomusicology. She's now based at Royal Holloway, um, as well as um, 
academic careers, our, our graduates, especially from the masters also go back into teaching sometimes, or they do a conversion course and go into teaching at school level. Uh, we have people going into media, all sorts of media. Um, archiving is an interesting one. This is Janet Topfarjan, who's now um, quite high up in the, the British Library Sound Archive. And a lot of our graduates um, go, and, go and work there. Interesting pathway. Oh, this is some um, Saeed who's just joined us um, after completing his PhD. Yeah. So those are a few destinations. Um, of course, um, music performance is another destination. Uh, quite a lot of our students come as already uh, very talented performers and then go on to have quite um, uh, exciting recording and performance careers. So Nick Mulvey was actually in the undergrad, now doing very well. And um, Maya Youssef, a superb uh, Syrian canoon player, um, now starting to really make a mark on the world music scene. And there are many more, of course. Um, the, the third strand of what we do really is the music in development side of things. We have a module which focuses on how music works um, within the sphere of development and increasing numbers of our students are coming now from a background in development or with interests in moving into that sector and they're finding jobs in in charities you know music in prisons for example in music therapy uh, community music therapy um yeah uh, international development projects uh, had all sorts of fascinating things you know um, a recent graduate is uh, working now on a project in the Western Sahara uh, really remarkable things uh, working for UNESCO of course um, quite a lot of our students especially those coming from East Asia uh, are now working um, in some capacity in relation to UNESCO's um, massive project of um, intangible cultural heritage. So that's increasingly important. Yeah, so ju just a quick glance at some of the regional modules that we teach, that we're teaching at the moment. Um, you can see we, we cover uh, the African diaspora as well as um, uh, Africa itself. Um, Middle East, so the intersections between uh, the Islamic world and North Africa there. Uh, actually, I should say the Islamic and Jewish world and North Africa. Um, sacred sound in South Asia, really beautiful, quite musicological uh, module that. Pop and politics in East Asia is um, a very fun module I'm teaching this term. Uh, it's really incredible how many of the students are either kind of active performers, obviously very active fans, or you know engaging in the industry in different ways. So that's very interesting. Uh, we are interested in border crossing, I guess, getting out of these kind of regional silos. So you can see that emphasis in this traveling on a song module, and also um, this Silk Road module that I teach sometimes, you know, so really thinking about all those musical connections and histories uh, going across across the huge landmass of Asia. Uh, as well as our regional modules, we also do a lot of thematic modules. So I've mentioned music in development, for example. Music in global perspective is really um, taking a broad approach to questions of performance, you know, what is performance, um, the body as well, what does it mean to um, uh, to use music in ritual context to, to achieve altered states of consciousness, for example, that kind of thing, what does music mean in different contexts, how do we relate to music instruments, all of that, yeah. So um, the music business, very popular. This is um, intersecting with the Creative Industries um, Center, obviously also global hip hop, really uh, fun and popular model module. Uh, so lots of that. Mm. So just in terms of your choices, 
Um, if you apply for a place and are accepted onto the program, you will get an email uh, at some point in uh, September inviting you to sign up. Uh, and there's quite a lot of uh, complex detail about, you know, the pathways that you, you can follow. So again, you know, if you if you do come and join us, I warmly recommend that you just drop me an email, say hi, tell me what you're interested in, and I can help guide you through some of the options. Because SOAS um, just has so much on offer, and it can be a little bit bewildering sometimes, you know, just where do you go to choose. So um, basically, as well as our own music modules, you have access to other modules in the School of Arts, so visual arts, creative industries. Uh, we also have an exchange agreement with King's College in London. So you can take their modules in, I don't know, like jazz, for example. Um, a language, of course, so as is, is very um, important in the, the languages that it continues to offer. So, you know, that, that is quite a challenging one, but just an amazing opportunity if you're, you're very clear that you want to work in, uh, I don't know, Thailand, for example, you know, so really take that opportunity to, to get the basics of the language. Yeah, and so much more from all the other departments. Yeah, so you, you spend two terms basically taking these taught modules, uh, you'll do generally speaking, like four modules in each term. Uh, and then quite a large chunk of your time, uh, really running from May um, through to submission in September, will be spent on your own individual study. So this dissertation is a really important part of the programme. It's your opportunity to um, identify a topic, identify a set of questions, um, and working with a supervisor who you, you can uh, certainly have a say in who you want to work with, then you will go about doing some original research. So, so these are, you know, exciting things to do. And I've just um, put a list of the, some of the topics from last year, uh, which were really great. So you can see quite a few of our, our students are interested in questions of media uh, and industry so this was an interesting one looking at um, um, gosh I can't remember one of the music streaming services and and how they engage in new markets so he picked uh, Lebanon as a case study which was really interesting um, here also we're thinking about industry and this question of reissue labels and how does the the western market you know listen to uh, 1970s pop from uh, ghana for example um this ghetto classics project is actually um, uh, um a student who was working for this development project in nairobi came to us to get a bit more kind of theory um, behind his practice and wrote about his his own project really uh, extraordinary stuff and this was a lovely kind of oral history project so um uh, uh, an american student of, of czech um heritage who was very interested in in that that period in in like czechoslovakian uh, soviet era history and did a, a lot of really beautiful um oral history kind of interviews, very original stuff that I'm hoping to get that published. Yeah. And finally, of course, um, um, we, we allow our students to do more practical projects for their dissertations. So quite a lot of students choose to do a kind of practice based dissertation, which will be examined, say, you know, by a performance plus a a shorter amount of words, so say four or five thousand words explaining what you do and then a performance. So that could be like a new composition or it could be exploring some um, some new repertoire, something like that. So uh, what I'd like to do is um, just play you a little bit of this extraordinary um, project done by Nick Nas Mirgalami 
uh, a couple of years ago uh, who came to us as a very interesting Iranian tambour player and then got into the, this um, um, very fascinating sphere of, of multimedia, um, new creative practice. Mm. So I'll, I'll stop the presentation here. I'll just play you uh, a minute or two of Nick Naz. And then if you'd like to um, ask me any questions, I'll, I'll be here um, for, for another 10 minutes or so to respond to questions. Okay, thanks for your, your listening. Sweet. 